There is a new green energy scandal rocking the Obama administration. We're now learning of a clean energy firm led by a member of the president's jobs council that received billions in loan guarantees. And this was a company apparently making a profit. Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions, ranking member in the Senate Budget Committee. And Senator, good morning to you. Thanks for good coming morning. back to America's Newsroom. What's going on this time? Well, it's another one, uh, but this is a huge, huge loan by a member on the president's uh, advisory team. Uh, Two billion dollars, that's Alabama's general fund budget each year is two billion dollars approximately. Uh, so this is a huge loan to a private company, uh, to a friend, uh, it looks like. And uh, it just points out that there are tens of thousands of small businesses out there that would like to get loans, that need low-cost loans but are not getting them. But it does appear that when the government gets into passing out money, taxpayers' money, they tend to pass it out to their friends and cronies. Well, this is called Next Era Energy. It, it's my understanding this company was actually making a profit. Why would a company need that money if they were, if they were in the green? Well, you can make more profit if you get a long-term, low-interest loan. Uh, but one of the things we need to look at, Bill, and I'm writing to Secretary Chu of Energy today, uh, and it will ask him to calculate correctly and tell us how he calculates the actual projected cost of these loans because we see Solyndra, a half a billion dollars, apparently totally a loss. Ne uh, a beacon is uh, 50 million, and it looks like a substantial loss, perhaps. So we need to know if they're properly advising the, the, the Congress and the American people how much these loans are going to cost. Let it me looks just like bring our, our they've viewers. underestimated the failure rate. Uh, Solinda was $535 million. That's gone bankrupt. You mentioned Beacon Power Corporation. Uh, that was $43 million in a loan guarantee. That has got filed for bankruptcy as well. Now, a, a lot of people think these decisions were made in the West Wing. Uh, but we're hearing from the administration the Department of Energy had, had control and jurisdiction over where these loans went and how they were paid out. Is that your understanding? Ultimately, yes, but uh, of course the, the Secretary Chu is in the cabinet. He's in the White House, really, uh, and uh, they know people talk to the White House if they want the Energy Department to do something. That's the way Washington too often works. So uh, I don't think you can simply separate it that way. We know this, that the nuclear loan program was much more tightly run and tightly managed uh, than this program is. And that's one reason I'm making inquiries about it, because it does not seem to be nearly as tightly controlled and properly analyzed. I see. Do you... Um do you suggest something illegal here? Or, I'm not or where, where do you, you, you You are not. So then where do you go for the answers for such misguided programs? Well, we're going to, I think the, the Congress needs to ask questions, and we need to find out if there may have been something illegal that occurred. I just don't know that now. What I do know is that this is a huge amount of taxpayers' dollars, and it's going to, it appears, favored people uh, in large amounts, uh, while tens of thousands of other small businesses around America are not getting benefit from the government. So it just raises whole questions about the very idea of picking and choosing winners uh, by politicians. Yeah, it's and, just and you inevitably are, fraught with danger. You are now proposing the Solyndra rule. What is that, Senator? Well, the Solyndra rule is that before the government asks the American taxpayer to pay more taxes, they need to bring spending under control. They need to eliminate fraud, waste, and abuse. They need to tighten up how we spend our money here in Washington. That is an absolute requirement to reduce unnecessary spending before we run out and ask the American people to just give them more money so business as usual can be continued. Senator, thank you for your time. The cylinder rule. We'll see if it gets traction. Senator Sessions from the Hill.